gals and guys, welcome to this week's Scuba Tube. In today's show, we're going to be talking about shellfish becoming druggies, uh, robot guards, stingrays escaping sharks, and Sean's Kickstarter product. Uh, and I'll be reviewing the products that you guys picked to vote. Uh, so let's get straight into the news. Where there's humans, smart, there's waste. Uh, lurking beneath the waves, there are streams of human waste flooding into the sea. Yummy! <clears throat> Now, sometimes this water has obviously been cleaned, filtered, and treated so it's safe to go into the water, but sometimes it's not. No. no. Uh, so the cheeseburgers, pizza, and donuts that we all eat sadly ends up in the ocean. Uh, but it's not just food waste. When you put paracetamol, or when you take paracetamol, or any other drugs, they too end up in our oceans through human waste. Yummy. Uh, so scientists have been studying the effects that drugs could have to our oceans for years, and uh, and there has finally been a breakthrough. Shellfish. Yep, that's right. Shellfish. Because, Mark, they're stationary. And because of their stationary, uh, that means like muscles as well, sadly they've become test subjects in pharmaceutical pollution. But this does mean they now have a sounding alarm for this type of pollution as well, so yeah. Yeah, so the worst culprit for untreated waste going through uh, into the ocean is San Paolo in Brazil. Uh, so scientists have started homing their research uh, in that area. Drugs like painkillers, birth control, antibiotics, and even estrogen mimics uh, have... What? Estrogen mimics? That's, that's a drug, estrogen mimics. Oh, Maybe is that's it? a drug, yeah. Oh, okay, estrogen mimics. Uh, have altered how shellfish, selfish, uh, have grown in the waters. Yeah, now of course this isn't just happening in Brazil, it's happening all over the world. And the more drugs that get pumped into the ocean, the worse it's gonna get. We may even start seeing the effects of drugs in our waters for non-stationary marine life. Okay, so let's talk about something positive that is man-made. So Chinese technicians have created a robot to protect coral reef uh, in the South China Sea. That's cool. Yeah. Uh, the underwater drone is 45 centimeters long uh, and 29 centimeters wide, so it's a decent, decent size. Um, the aim for the drone is to kill off not all starfish, I'm guessing certain starfish, like crown of thorns. Um, it's even been given the name the starfish killing robot. Yeah. That's unimaginative. It's totally, yeah, but I bet you in Chinese it sounds awesome. <laughs> it sounds awesome. So anyway, the coral reef in South China Sea is fragile just like any other reef in the ocean. But it does have a starfish problem and they love nibbling on the coral. So this drone was tailor-made to kill any starfish in the coral, and it can also fight off sea urchins as well. Oh, okay. Uh, so the drone has a 10 meter scan range. That's pretty good. Yeah. Um, and allows one centimeter deviation for its target, uh, which means that the robot hardly ever misses. Yep. Uh, it's been in action since September last year and seems to be doing the job pretty well. <laughs> uh, the same technicians are now working uh, or starting to work on a updated robot, which is lighter, faster, and stronger. So starfish really don't stand a chance. Yes. Good old drone technology. Well, they were, I think in Australia, they're looking at like the Triton sea snail, which eats crown of thorn starfish. So they're thinking about introducing that. Mm. Of course, they don't think about the repercussions of what then would happen if they eat all the starfish, then what do they eat? It's, it's the natural version of this. They just introduce a predatory species. D drones, they should start eating drones. Get the drones to eat the drones. <laughs> bigger drones eat Bigger drones, drones yeah. It just then. gets bigger and bigger and bigger. Anyway, voting is now stopped. The votes have been counted, and the winner in this week's review is the Paralens. So Mark, it's over to you. Hopefully you've got the product in your hand. No, no, that, that's one <laughs> of the cons of this product is that it's quite popular uh, and we've actually sold out right now. We do have more on the way, I promise. Uh, so Paralens is a fantastic camera. Um, I, it's on my wish list. It's, um, I, I always used to dive with GoPros uh, because I don't like taking still pictures because the fish always turn as I press the button. Um, so I usually video. Yep. And uh, the downside with GoPros is, of course, like your white balance 
always, everything's blue. So, um, so with Paralens, they have a built-in depth sensor, which is what most people talk about. Uh, the depth sensor adjusts the white balance, so it always looks blue. Cool. Um, it's, uh, it's a decent size. Uh, it's waterproof down to 200 meters. It's a Kickstarter, so, um, so it's still relatively new. Um, but from what I found, there have been very few sort of incidents with it going wrong That's at all. Um, so lots of pros, not so many cons. Um, it's just a shame we don't have one physically to show you, but you've got a blog, haven't you? Yeah, yeah, there's, so a, there's that, a blog. We did a, a, an unboxing on it as well. Yeah, um, it'll be on there, so. I kept calling it a torch, because it looks, it looks a like, a, like torch. a torch. Yeah. It's not so much a handheld camera, it's more of a action camera, yeah, so mounting. mounting to something. Um, but you have lots of different mounting options. The yeah. one that I really like is like a third person. It's like a selfie stick that you clip to yourself. You love selfie It's got sticks. two little floats, so it follows you behind your dive, so it's recording you as you dive. I'm gonna get one of them. <laughs> Oh dear. Uh, okay, guys. So, uh, so yeah. If uh, if you see one, uh, definitely buy it. Uh, if it's not on our website, you'll get a little um, sort of button that you can click on it. Oh, yeah. As soon as uh, Jamie scans it into the warehouse, it will email you that instant, um, so you can then buy one. The old notification. Yes. Uh, so the vote is open again. So uh, so click on the card that's just popped up and uh, and vote for which products you would like me to talk about in our next week's show. Uh, if you're watching this on Facebook, just head over to our YouTube channel to uh, to cast your vote because Facebook doesn't have that facility. They do not. And if you're not subscribed to our channel via Facebook, subscribe to our channel. <laughs> Please do it. So the last story in today's show is all about something rather cool. So some cool footage to say, which has been caught on a joke. So a man was filming on the off the coast of Australia when uh, he captured something rather amazing on his drone. Yeah, so, uh, so Jason Cassidy was flying his drone off the coast of Queensland Beach uh, when he caught footage of a shark swimming through the water towards a stingray. Yeah, so the ray was figuring out something was up and it quickly switched directions and even invades the shark. Uh, the, the ray was so quick though um, that I've completely jumped what I was saying. Jason, that's what was it. Jason then tried to track the ray to see if the ray truly actually escaped from the shark, but it swam off so fast he was actually unable to chase it. Yeah, so uh, so I love videos like this where uh, nature is just kind of doing its thing. Yeah. There's no one in the water kind of getting in the way. Drones decent way yeah. up and um, drones are really sort of opening up the way we sort of film stuff and where we actually see things yeah, yeah there are a lot of those footage of people like swimming in the beach and uh, there's like a six foot shark just yeah, cruising around they're them. completely and utterly oblivious to what's going on you just got some guy going oh, i'll just take some nice footage to drop to see oh, oh okay and get they're... out of the water <laughs> yeah. like, literally... well they're doing that in um, i think it's in australia like obviously you have shark watches and stuff yep. like that but they're using drones to track the sharks yep yeah, it's really cool. And there it's really there cool. are some with, um, uh, what you call it, like life preservers, yes. life rings. I think we, that was a weird, I think we did that in a weird Wednesday last year. Yeah. I think it saved its first person the other day, so it's working. Yeah. Uh, okay, so Sean, you picked this week's Kickstarter, uh, so what do you got for us? Uh, the Air Buddy. Woo. Talk about the Air Buddy. And that's it. That's week. it, yeah, <laughs> no, it's, it's basically, so it's another one of those kind of breathing mechanisms, so. It's like snoober. But yeah, rather personal. than yeah, rather than the gas canister or the air canister, sorry, or the, the canister in your mouth, with obviously with the regulator or whatever attached, or you know you velcroing it to yourself, it actually stays buoyant above the water. So it's again aimed at shallow dives, or if you want to just snorkel and go down a bit deep and you know have a bit more bottom time. Yeah, it's basically a compressor that sits on a tiny little float. It sucks in the air, and then you just get a little hose that leads down to you. And that goes into and like a regulator, and then you breathe into and it. that's it. That's so it. you're tethered to the surface, you can't go down too deep. No. You just have to pray that one, you don't hold your breath and come up to the surface. Two, your compressor doesn't run out of gas. Um, three, water doesn't splash over it. Um, uh -huh. Yeah. Uh, it, it's, it's a personal snoober. Um, it's cool. I think it, 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 it's great that these things are getting made, but yeah, like you said, there has to be some awareness before you use it. The education has to yeah. be there. The education. You really. can't just give it to a kid and go, yeah, go have fun. Yeah. See you later. Yeah, bye. It'll be all right. Just read the colour pictures on the thing and then you will be fine. What's, It'll be fine. What's the worst thing? Yeah. Happen? yeah, it's cool. It's quirky. I mean, it's not as good as... Uh, uh, and the good thing about that, that obviously people are asked why you're talking about the Kickstarter stuff is because a lot of this stuff, comes to fruition, just yeah. like the Paralens. Like Paralens, yeah. That, that, that's a genius thing, so yeah, throughout 
probably the thousands of interesting, I'm not gonna say rubbish, <laughs> interesting products. There are a couple that really do shine as well, so hopefully we'll come across some of them as yeah. well. But so far, we haven't. <laughs> yeah. uh, okay, that's it for this week, I'm afraid, guys. Hope you enjoyed the show. Uh, and we're gonna end it with a clip from our video, 10 Annoying Things That Scuba Divers Do. Uh, so thanks for watching, guys, and safe diving. Bye. Annoying thing number four, always talking about scuba diving. Scuba diving is life, and let's face it, it is the most interesting thing about us. Without scuba diving, what would we be? Just email pushing monkeys. Non-scuba divers just don't understand how cool scuba diving is, so you have to tell them again and again until they finally understand.